So you go to work and you go to a war ceremony and somebody say something you don't like. You just walk up at the, at the microphone and slap the person? Yeah, why he not? He said that's okay. Yeah, why not? He don't have no he issue with that. that was okay. Why not? Why you do not? your job. They tell you they're good. You just go slap somebody. He said that's fine. He gonna be like, I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, y'all I, think y'all can like just it. give out awards up here? <laughs> Pop! <laughs> Who does that, yo? He's protecting his wife. <laughs> I love it. And on that note, cue the intro. <laughs> <laughs> because big dudes can't go from... <laughs> it's crazy. You go from $40 to $4,000. Right. Easy. So the best two rides that just popped out of nowhere, yo. In, in this month, two month and a half, man. This dog right here rode out that Crown Royal riding that ride peak. They all three pretty good. And, then, and it, changed, it changed my mind as far as the sour being my number one. Like the sour mash is no bullshit team. Like Cleveland is a threat. I wasn't a fan of you, brother, but you showed me a lot. Just like with the sour mash. It showed me a lot just now. Chris Paul is the sour mash. One day, just thrown into the atmosphere, having a whiskey chasing spot. There's good people in peace, love, and bourbon. This is another episode of the Whiskey Chasers Podcast, y'all. We back. Glad to be here. It's another Whiskey Wednesday. Yes. This is your man, Charlie Bourbon. No social media, Kyle. In the cut, Invisible Bully. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Got him! Yeah! Yeah! Got him! Awesome! <laughs> I was late. <laughs> he got me. He yo, got me. Call his cousins. Like yo, they, yo, they he got me. me. Yo, yo, you can't call your cousins. Yo, try to call his cousins. Nah, he got it. No, no. no. Too late like, now. I you threw the white flag. Too late like, now. Go behind. I can't yeah. go behind that force. Yeah, 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 yo, yo. Not too much longer. Yeah, I can't yo, take. Yo, call I call ain't even have a slick one. I didn't have a slick one. He got the great intros, man. He got the great, great intros. I like how yo just jump. Don't even ask. Just do it. I went right. Yeah. Tell you, like, yeah. I'm about to do this. No, yeah. Go ahead, jump in, jump in, jump in, man. So you know what? We about to jump in in a minute, but before we jump in, definitely want to say thank you to everybody that tune in, like, subscribe, share. New episodes coming out. We got the Instagram. You can follow us at whiskey underscore chases, and you can also get the audio versions of the podcast from all your podcasts and platforms. So, with that being said, again. We about to jump right in. So this week, we try to do something a little different. We always come up with different ideas. Try to do, you know, mix it up a little bit. So we doing bottles under $40. That mm-hmm. I... No social media. No social Kyle. media. I was going to do you last. Yeah. Oh, okay. you, you, the, you the big brother. So Enforcer and no social media. Kyle came up with the yeah. shoes, yeah. like a bottle that you like that's under $40. Yeah. So starting with mine first, you know, which is the lowest proof, because we like to go from low to high, mm-hmm. which is the Rebel Yell. Lux Cold product. Mm. Rebel so, Yell. I like this bottle because... Honestly, number one, the price point is twenty dollars. Did a bad boy. For a beginner, it's definitely a go-to. Like I bought these a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and every time I see a Rebel Yell that I don't have, I buy it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's easy. It's easy drinking on a palate. It's nothing crazy. And so yeah, that's why I like it. So so everybody that see oh wella 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 wella. William LaRue Weller, he, that, that's his phone. Oh, yeah. yeah. On, on, on the Rebel Yell. So, I didn't even know you've seen no. stuff by names and prices and by, oh, I heard about this. So, that was one that really you kind of can can jump on if you, I don't know about bourbon or I don't, I don't, I don't know mm-hmm. what to do, mm-hmm. but I have somebody that crafted and is, is a, a triple OG in, in the bourbon game. This was something that they put out there early. So, that shout out the shout out the Weller. Yeah. What's the what's the proof on this one? 80. 80 yeah, proof. Yeah. 
So this yeah, age so this is like the this. minimum. This is like the minimum. Like you it's can't go below light in color too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. And, and, but it, and, yeah, it, and it's a weeded bourbon too, so you know that uh, it, it's heavy and weed. Probably about probably about twenty percent on, on the wheat, which makes it a little bit sweeter. You got the wheat on there; it's not hard. You know when you got rye in the mash bill, it make it kind of a little harder. But it's no, and I know you you don't need to mess with no. All right, you know what? So, Shit, my bad. Something just clicked Get in my that brain. Backpack. My bad, bro. He's spilling. Yeah. Something just clicked in my brain. I know why he liked this. Because he like weed, bro. He don't like rye. It's, mm. it, it's no rye in his joint. Mm-hmm. It's straight. Well, it's straight. No, no, no. But but hit me okay. up. It's corn, it's wheat, and it's barley. And, okay. and the mash bill for this. Okay. And I already know he'd be like on a fence about rye, like, eh. But that's. Well, I like. I. I, I I, I agree with you. I definitely like bourbon, but bourbon don't necessarily mean that it's got to be without rye. Like, I, I don't mind it's rye. It's not a huge rye fan. I'm not a rye. If it's straight rye, when they talk about right. uh, the rye whiskey, meaning right. it's predominantly rye right. barley, right. Yeah. I mean rye, you know, grain, then right. I'm like, ah. Right. Right. That's why I'm like, it, I got to I gotta balance right. that. You know what I mean? But, um, but, but honestly... You made me appreciate Rye more. I always call you the Rye guy. Right, that is right, your lane. Right. You know what he I mean? He is the Rye guy. He's the Rye guy. Rye cigars. Yeah, yeah, cigars. Oh, right, no, I want him to call me the golf guy. <laughs> Not <laughs> yet. I'm trying to my bag. He, he said, I'm trying to get him to carry my bag. He said, you ain't reached that level yet. You ain't reached that level yet. That's what I'm trying to get. He said, you ain't get that yet. Well. <laughs> my man said he want to reach we Phil Mickelson status. We got some way to go. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Uh, look, that's another episode. Yeah, me and this guy can talk about golf all day. Listen, right, right. golf is one of them things I will say has changed my life. Yeah. I, shout out to all the golfers, the pros, the amateurs, the yeah. wannabes, yeah. whatever you call yeah. yourself. Yeah. Golf is a humbling sport. Yeah. It has humbled, it will humble the most, whatever you call it, egotistical. Yeah. Right. Arrogant yeah. golf will humble yeah. you yeah. down to okay. Let me shut up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Golf is that special. So you gotta be disciplined for golf. That's what I've been seeing with you. You guys. gotta practice, bro. Y'all be it up at balls. them. Y'all be at them it courses six, balls. seven o'clock yeah. in the morning. Absolutely, you better be I wouldn't be able to golf just off of that alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, yeah. Yeah. I'm not getting up at five. And and just, he I'm not. But he also takes naps. Yes, yes, he he know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm still you know. napping around that time. He wakes you back three hours later. Like, let me. Yo, I was laying down, bro. Let me say something about that real quick. Like, I thought I was doing something. Like, I'm getting out there at 7.30, 8 o'clock. I thought I was doing something. But I'm like, when I get there, People they already there. They already there. They been there for two hours yeah, or whatever. They already they, been thinking yeah, about they it. already out there working yeah. out. They write me on their ninth hole. I'm like, whoa. Bro, I think this will make I'm golf like, goals. Not, I'm like, this not, I'm late. You playing, the, you don't want to lose to the dude next to you, but you playing the course. You playing the course. Yeah. That's what So you me. got two entities trying to beat you. Yeah. So you just gotta work that much harder. I think I think that was one of but the most. But you gotta pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that was one of the most important things yeah. for me was that it's not about necessarily the competition next to you. It's about you you beating that course. Which right. really goes internally. So like it's about you. Like man, it's 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 deep, bro. It's deep. I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna keep going. Let's, All go, right, to let's, go, to, let's go to Coopers. Uh, yeah, let's no, go. So, so before we jump to Coopers, does the rebel make you yell? No, <sighs> truthfully, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it a stack. It doesn't. The way people trip over Weller and they oh Weller, and I'm I never trip over Weller. I get it, cause cause uh, that's to be the thing sometimes, and I'm never crazy about it. That's the same way I feel about that. It's mm. a thing. It, yeah. it, it's something to drink. It's yeah. not nothing. Well, you told me it, this was a song, right? So the song Rebel We Out, I can't remember. I can't think of uh, Billy, Idol. Billy, Billy Idol. Billy Idol. Yeah, Billy he Idol. He was drinking. <laughs> he was drinking that. It came with a song. Rebel Y'all supposed to be like a big song. I don't know. He the music guy. I don't know. He might have heard the beat and, and did some production to it. But it's supposed to have been like he made the song Rebel Y'all after drinking that Rebel Y'all. Y'all like the Rebel don't make you yell. No. Yeah, this not making no. me yell. It's no. not nothing super. I mean, we're talking about. It's consistent. Yeah, it's consistent. If you, if this not your first glass of whiskey. You won't be impressed. It's, this ain't yeah. you. 
Yeah, if this is something that you like, all right, I'm gonna give whiskey a try, or I'm gonna have this for maybe like your mixed drinks mm. or whatever. Like, fine, you know that's cool for that. But to say like, oh, I'm gonna cool, jump cool. over the Double. fence, no. Nah. But the thing is, it's twenty. Like we said, it's, it's not so. So if you want to grab it, get it, get an opinion from somebody else. Do yeah. it. It can't hurt. It's a couple bucks. Again, that's the thing. That's the thing. Like we said. What can you expect like we did on another episode when we was doing the um the uh the IW Harbor and yeah, you said yeah. it's supposed to be a cool man <coughs> drink. Yeah. And that's what it was. Yeah. What do you expect from a twenty dollar bottle of whiskey? Mm, that's better you than a normal t- uh, all right, so I'll grade it on this. On a curve is better than a regular twenty dollar bottle. Don't drink hard. It's just it's just, it's, yeah, all, it's, it's right. cool. It's, it's cool. cool. Like it, it's cool. It's cool. If we sat had to sit down and like you come to somebody's crib they don't happen to have had a bottle of that, and they all them drinking tequila or vodka, and they like, oh, I got this. I don't know nothing about it. I'm mm-hmm. gonna drink that. I tell you one thing. I tell that. you one thing. I bought, I that. bought the small batch and the rye, yeah. so that'll tell you like, all right, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Like, I'm not yeah, buying yeah, none of yeah, their yeah, products. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it was cool. I feel like they have a ten year that I had my eye on. Oh, I think they so. Yeah, they do. They do got like yeah. a ten year. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. I really wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's probably the, that, that might be the no age statement joint. So that might be like four years or something. But yeah, they got like mm-hmm. a ten year. That's yeah. the regular. That's the regular. Yeah, I think yeah, they got yeah. ten year. Yeah, I, I definitely remember seeing a ten year. So this year the Coopers. One. Mm-hmm. Coopers craft. Coopers into like this joint we talked about with the Sinatra cast. Like the the way they do the scave and the, and the process that the they stave. made it. All mm-hmm. that stuff was supposed to be kind of in the same realm. With uh, with the Sinatra, you know, it's a it's a brown Forster or Forster Brown or nineteen. Brown Foreman. For, for I said Foreman. I'm sorry. I thought I was talking about old Forster. I drink too much. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Got but it. it's the Gavin that family. Yeah, in that family, which is Jack Daniels. So it's supposed to be well, like kind of a, a, a mix of they speak about like some old Forster kind of notes, but mm-hmm. then there's some some of that Jack Daniels, the, the Sinatra. Kind of the way they, they, they put it together. So this shout out to be the like, Sinatra Jack. Yeah. Oh. Oh my man. Oh, I'm gonna tell you. He came through across the building like Snoop at his, his last. You know what? Oh, your, the party. your cookout was Cook last year about the same was, time. Mm-hmm. My birthday. Yeah, oh, that was, was big. Was though. That time. was facts. It that was, was a big big. I'm glad y'all came. Man. It was it was monumental, bro. I came, I left, and I came back. <laughs> right, you did. He did. I did. You did. I had a, I had a family obligation. I left, and then right. I came back. Quick sidebar on that. Charlie Bourbon. I don't want to use profanity, but I'm going to use it one time on this. He cooked his ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you going to throw that guy there. He yeah. just looked at me with the sweat towel. Yeah, but, oh, but your man Shout was there, Shout out to my man Randy. Your man, yeah, my your man, man Randy. Randy was there. Yeah, Yo, yeah, he yeah. Is a, he yeah. is a yeah. true. He yeah, is your a man true, was there. Yep. Yo, yeah. he's a true brother, yo. Yeah, his, his like, man was there. Like, he's a brother from another mother. Yeah, like, Randy is a dude yep. that I yeah. would fucking ride for, yo. Yeah, he's yeah, a brother. That, his man was there. He hooked the kid up the food and up. Yo, he, but he, but you know what? I give him, yo, he is like OG status. Because he one of them guys, he done done everything you could think of. Like, he done been a cook. He done been a chef. He done been military this, guy. Military. He yeah, done yeah. been on a boat. He yeah, done everything. been a plumber, yeah, electricity. Yeah. Yo, he done done everything. But that's my man, yo. It's my brother. That's right why there. you bang with him, yo. You got 57 yeah. jobs, too. I do, too. <laughs> that's why you bang with him, yo. <laughs> yeah. Yo, shout out. Hey, shout out Chris, my brother, Chris. He told me, like, yo, this dude real sharp. He's smart. He do everything. That was 20-something years ago. That was 20-something. He always spoke on the yo, dude real, like, yo, yo, do I, everything. Before me, and, before me and NSM started hanging out, that's no social media cop, he would always say that every time I see him. Yo, my brother always said, <laughs> yo, he, every time yo, you see me, he like, always be like, yo, yo do, yo do a little bit of everything. He always said that. Always. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. What we this think about this right here? Yeah. This is nice. Definitely and this is, my man over in the corner, the drink ain't get you, did it? You quiet over there, yeah, bro. You good? Stuck. Listen, I was, I was, was, I was listening to the great stories. <laughs> <laughs> Don't always tell me stories. you turned on Rebel Yo. Hey, always hey, stories. hey, hey, backpack. Play a little bit of that Rebel Yell in the back when you <laughs> when you edit. I don't know what the song sound like. Can you Billy throw a little, Idol. So can you throw a little bit of that in the background for, so we know, so the people know, because it's supposed to be crazy. I don't crazy. know. I don't know, because you know YouTube and, and song. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It might mess us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take our word for yeah. it. This this, this yeah. was derived yeah, yeah. from look a up, Billy Idol song. Look up Rebel Yell. 
You gotta know these things. It's okay. It's so, okay. So we I got producer. I do these things. So let's let, right. let's get into the old tub. Oh tub. The quote, no, the quote. The Coopers though. Yeah, we gotta. Uh, we ain't, yeah, we, we, we on the Coopers yeah, we right now. At the Coopers. Yeah. We on the Coopers right now. I like that the Coopers. Tone is solid. I like the Coopers. And I like it too. What's the proof on the, on the Coopers? Hundred. That's the Coopers. Hundred. They got a Coopers. Hundred. They got a. They get. They. I think they got three of these two. Two or three. It's 100 Thank proof. You. They got one like 86 proof. So I know it's at least yeah, two. Yeah, I think yeah. I got the 100 is this proof. I, the, think I got this one at home. That's the 100 proof. The 100 oh, proof. Yes. Yeah. And what'd you say the price Solid. point was? I want to say about, 40. Like, 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 like no, 40, like 30, right? 40 dollars about. Yeah. I think I could probably put tax price. Because I got one in the house. It's de- definitely decent. Oh, that's the second bottle I had. When we put it in the group check and said what it's about, everybody gave Coopers a thumbs up because I just, one, I just yeah, grabbed it. This one is like... I just grabbed it. This one is like your... I would say, man, if you... Again, like I said about the Rebel Yell, if you had more than one glass of whiskey, this one is for you. Yeah. Yeah. This one is for you. I agree. It's, it's, and, it could be, and it could be beginner, too. Yeah. It's yeah. intermediate yeah. to beginner, and if you experience, like it's yeah. not bad. Like I get, I'm getting heat on the finish. I'm getting your your, your classic uh, caramel, yeah, vanilla, uh, vanilla, uh, charred oak. It's giving me some. It's giving me some of the classic notes on 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 the on the whiskey. You can definitely so, tell it's brown forming. Like you can tell to me, all forming brown. <laughs> or Foreman Mills, New Lou, <laughs> <laughs> or George Foreman, whatever you want to call it. Oh man, good, 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 good product stuff. here. Good yeah. stuff, good yeah. product. Let me see. So this let's, is, let's, this let's is definitely in, solid, man. Let's go in and and, and jump, go into, in, the jump into the old. So tub. that's crazy. So anybody that don't trace whiskeys or bourbons or bottles or anything, if you just go look for something on a certain day party, you're not gonna walk somewhere to something to say old tub. But you yeah. could be. I haven't tried it yet. But this could be the greatest thing that was ever yeah. made. And you would walk I, past it every time. You walk past it every people, time. Yeah, a lot of people talk I mean, like, about I'm old not tub. buying no old tub, but you yeah. never know. I walked past it a couple times. The name, though, kind of threw me off when I first saw it. That's but it. everybody talks about old tub being like, yo, this is one of them ones it where it's fire. a cheap bottle and you need it on your on your joint. Yeah. What's the proof on, on your that? Bar. This is it's 100 proof. This is 100 proof. And it's a bottle and bond product. And yeah, it's man, a gym in the same mm. distillery, at least 100 proof, on under federal regulations for four years. For four years, it got it hit all. It hit. It checked all. You know they start. No, I'm gonna tell you. I'm not trying to get. You can't get. Never get political. But they say they start doing bottle and bond because the government wanted to collect taxes off them. They wanted to sit up there and I see it. bottle and bond. They wanted to say, because people was just putting anything in bottles, but yes. at the same time, yes. the government wanted to see, oh, it's a bottle of bottle. That's cool. I'm your, I'm you your friend. At, I'm your right. friend. Tell me what you do there. <laughs> I'll watch it for you. But you got to give me taxes on it. I'm going to tax you. But mm. that was the reason why prohibition ended in the first place. Yeah. And the same reason why the marijuana business is what it is, because the government wanted to get their taxes off of yeah. it. That's why I enjoy watching this podcast because you guys are so knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> you as intelligent, you as wise. <laughs> well, you, well, you had some old old tub. You was doing like this yeah, in the old say, tub, I'm and somebody say, there was the government agent that said, "Well, we can do it for you. We can do it better." And like, but you, you gotta pay us ten dollars per tub. It, if they was putting it in everybody, because that 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 goes to the moonshine world, yeah. where. People was making a living off of selling homemade whiskey. moonshine. Yeah, moonshine. But let me ask you a question. Uh, no social. Do you think that's why they they stepped it up from paints, or what? What was that about? Mm, that's Step a, what up from? Because they was only putting the old tub that you could get at a Jim Beam Distillery in a, in a, in pints only. Mm-hmm. It wasn't out there. It could have been honestly, Jim if, Bean, if respect Jim Bean. It probably is corporate situation. Mm. Somebody said do it like that. It probably was but then now too. somebody from corporate said, well, let's make it at one point. And when corporate yeah. says, well, you do. It probably was a demand for it too. Because if, they, if, they was, if old tub was going off the shelves, because somebody said, Yo, probably I can get said, this, I can get whiskey, I can get quality whiskey for $20, or I can get 
let's say halfway decent whiskey for twenty dollars, it's going off the shelf. I, and I can't necessarily say it's Jim Beam, but I, cause I could be wrong. Shout out fact checkers, anybody. <laughs> It, it's, it's a company, a big company, it might have been Jim Beam, that came with like a Japanese whiskey company, and they kind of put it together, and it was basically all based on on a corporate mindset. So Jim Beam, as much as Jim Beam might have been some dudes in the corner in the alley when it started, once it got corporate, who knows what who knows what they said? Yeah, if I'm gonna say, who I would, knows in the boardroom what they said? I would say we should have did that one second. I agree. And the coupe was third. Coopers was delicious. I agree. This one right here was like, ah, nah. It was oh, crazy. Drink, uh, I had, I think karate I, chop. I think it was, it was set. It was set. I messed the order up. I think it was set up like that originally. No. And I messed the order that's up. Okay. It was up. because somebody said, they can't see you over that bottle. So you said, that's what it was. That's what it was. That's why I moved. Old, old You're right. You said it up right. That's why I moved. You said it up right. A person, nobody to be named. Say, hold on. The My man got it somebody with then. some slick air maxes yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> say, hold on. We got to shift it over. Should I put my mic around the phone down? They say, no. Well, take the person up. I'm the person. He got his own shampoo on. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere he go, his head be glistening. I told, I asked him, can I, yo, can I just be your assistant while I walk around with a spray bottle and just... Yo, the new Soul Glow. Soul Glow was 27 years ago, and it's the new Soul Glow. Everything is is, is still a, it's still a retro. Absolutely, man. So, if I had to say, what, what, out of what, all these bottles, what, which one would you take home with you? Coopers. What you say? Coopers. What you say? Unquestionably, Coopers. Guess I'm taking Coopers too. Yeah, yeah. unquestionably. Coopers. Yeah, I'm taking. Coopers. Shout out to Brown Foreman. Looks like they got another winner. Or Foreman Brown. Or Foreman Brown. Thank you. Or George, George Foreman. Foreman. Yeah. Or Foreman <laughs> Grill. Yeah. All of that. All of that. Yo. Excellent. Ac- Dope. 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 These are our bargain yeah. ones, but if it's you guys more. know any, let us Listen. know. And drop some in the comments yeah. letting us Man, know what, what's, us. what's your bargain if under you 40 goes. Under 40. Say that. We have plenty more. But the it's, thing yeah. is, we don't want to sit here and drink 10 bottles. Yes, we <laughs> no. do. Nah. No, we don't. We don't want to sit here and drink 10 Maybe bottles. eight, so, not 10. Thank not y'all 10. for tuning in. <laughs> this is another episode of Whiskey Chasers Podcast. This is your man, Charlie Bourbon. In the back of this, I only have just left. The enforcer. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to race him. I couldn't get there. In the kind of invisible <laughs> don't, ever, don't ever, listen, for a, a, a side note, don't ever rush the enforcer's introduction. <laughs> You get, you take your time. Because I was itching. I yeah, was you itching. was itching. I was itching. Even if he go before you, fuck that. I'm ready. I'm ready now. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> As we always say, Whiskey Chase's fashion. Tell them you can find us on every one of them. Uh, I don't even need to say. All the platforms, all the everything. Say that. We can do it again, but you can find us. <laughs> Let me give it a try, right, Charlie. Yeah. Yes, sir. You can find Thank us you. on all of your social media platforms. Audio side, Apple, Spotify, non-audio. Everything is audio. <laughs> A non-audio. It started out so great. It did. It started all promising. I'm sorry. Follow us on Finish social media. <laughs> Whiskey underscore yeah, chaser. There we go. IG. You can subscribe to the YouTube Instagram, page. Instagram, they call it. You can subscribe to the YouTube page. <laughs> Whiskey Chasers Podcast. You can also get all the audio versions on your social media. I mean, on your podcasting platforms. Spotify, like he said, I agree. He yeah, didn't mess up. I got that part right. He got the right. non-audio ones. Too. Yeah, I don't what, know what they are. Yeah, that's what I messed up. At. The non-audio. Because you said we got, yeah. we want non-audio yeah. joints. Shut Just up all the non-audio yeah. platforms. I don't even I don't know, know what, what that, that is. is. I don't yeah. either. Continue. That means pull up to the next event we at. Yeah, yeah. We may start yeah. going live and it's getting warm at events. Right, we're gonna be I outside. like that. I like that you we set it up. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Peace, love, and bourbon. Yeah. Cheers, good people. Respect. Cheers.